Well, hey guys, happy Sunday. I just woke up. I did a blog Lottie's routine. I have zero coffee in my system, so bear with me. I, I don't know how I'm even talking, uh, but the sun is shiny, shiny, shiny. Speaking of sun, I bought impulsively a new sunscreen because I just don't have any. Uh, no, this I saw on Amazon and you know how Amazon is. I mean, I need to stop going on there. It's problematic. It always suggests things to me. Well, I had to have this. Bondi Sands came out with a fragrance-free sunscreen lotion SPF 50 for the face and I just wanted to try it out. But, so I bought it and it came two days ago. I'm going to try it out for you guys this morning on a bare face. I just woke up. But I went to my P.O. box yesterday and in my P.O. box was this. <laughs> I don't know who sent this to me. I'm assuming Bondi Sands sent it to me. Um, this one says face. This one is bigger, but does not say face. They have identical ingredients. Um, so I don't know price wise what the difference is, but they're basically the same product. Anyways, I'm going to try this out. Uh, it's fragrance free. It has a pretty short ingredient list. It's a chemical sunscreen, so I'm not expecting it to leave any cast. Um, and it does, uh, it doesn't have oxybenzone, which is the filter that tends to sting around the eyes. So I'm optimistic that I'll be able to tolerate this around the eyes. It's water resistant up to 80 minutes, which is really good. That's what you want, especially in the that's what you want for days where you are going to be going outside, at least, you know, being outside for, I don't know, 30 minutes or so when it's hot and sweaty, you're, is it hot and sweaty out or is it, it's hot and you become sweaty? There you go. When it's hot and you become sweaty, that's really when it's nice to have the water resistance factor on board. It just ensures a little bit of extra, um, hold, if you will, in between reapplications. Anyways, all that blabbing aside, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a go. I slept really well last night. Um, I've been sleeping well lately, knock on molecules that are floating in the air, <laughs> which is air. Oh my God. This is what happens when I don't caffeinate. I've got my, my, uh, what is this called? Retro, beauty retro, something, some headband. I love these. I got my laundry as judging. I've been rather productive. I decluttered a little bit in my kitchen this morning, took some stuff out to the trash. Needed to go. Okay, I'm liking this. It doesn't burn, but <clears throat> the only sunscreen that burns my skin is many of the Neutrogena sunscreens. We've had this conversation before. That and sometimes some of the um, European sunscreens will burn around my eyes after I've been wearing them for a while. Like they'll start, uh, my eyes will start to get burny because I'm talking. I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. So hopefully I don't have a lot of skippage. But I'm gonna be inside most of the day. Oh crap, my battery is yelling at me. <sighs> I'm gonna be inside today. Today's gonna to be a chill day at home. But yeah, getting back to getting back to my sleep last night. Oh, someone <clears throat> was asking me, I think on Instagram, about blackout curtains. I've had my blackout curtains since I lived in the other apartment, and I love them. I got them from JC Penney. Don't know if they're still in stock, still available. If they are, does JCPenney even exist anymore? I know there was threat that it was going bankrupt or something. Um, hopefully it does still exist. Hopefully they are still in stock so that I can put them down below. <laughs> but <clears throat> I don't even really remember what the brand was, but I can go back and look. Yeah, really happy with them. They make a huge difference because there's like a, a light, a lamp outside that would definitely keep me up if I saw it. I'm really sensitive to light anyway. <clears throat> so far I'm liking this, you guys. It's not burning or stinging or anything like that. I think I already put sunscreen here, but whatever. Um, and I did my eyes.
I get this question, I get this question all the time. People will be like, is this sunscreen good? The percentage of zinc is only 14.2. Is this sunscreen okay? There's only 2.3% of, you know, octocrylene. You've got to stop trying to figure out how good a sunscreen is based on percentage of active ingredients. That tells you nothing. You can't look at a sunscreen's ingredient list and try and figure out how good it is at protecting you against UVB or UVA. You simply can't because it's, First of all, zinc percentages alone vary tremendously based on the size of the zinc, the coating. There are different types of zinc that sunscreen manufacturers use. There's like microfine um, and the formulation overall, that really plays a major role. Many of the inactive ingredients will ultimately contribute to the final protection of the product um, and not necessarily be like FDA approved sunscreen filters, but there'll be inactive ingredients that offer, you know, like trace amounts of SPF and things so it's really the formulation overall you can't just look at you can't just look at percentages and try and figure out efficacy um i'm going to try this big tube just to see if there's a difference by the way these did have foil 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 pieces of foil over the opening that i took off before before oh yeah this is identical likewise um you know a lot of skincare ingredients people will hem and haw over, well, this is lower down on the ingredient list. Okay, I mean, look at prescription topical drugs. The percentages of the active ingredient is, is oftentimes like 0.01, 0.1%, you know, less than 1%, still works, still effective. Uh, higher than that doesn't necessarily mean better. Sometimes higher is, you know, not, not effective. Sometimes it's just not effective at higher percentages. So yeah, you really can't, sleuth around as far as order of appearance. You can kind of sleuth around to figure out, okay, is this gonna be something that's gonna be super drying? Like if low molecular weight alcohols are really high up on the ingredient list and you're sensitive to them, you find that they're drying, then there you go. That, then, you know, that can be telling. Um, and if, you know, you're looking at an ingredient list, the first ingredient is water, um, and you wanna know how good of a moisturizer it's gonna be. Well, it's gonna be more lightweight if the first ingredient is water. If the first ingredient is petrolatum, it's gonna be more, more rich, more occlusive. Um, thicker. If the first ingredient is water, it, you know, it may absorb more quickly and be something that is less likely to cause pilling, balling underneath sunscreen. I'm putting some sunscreen on my leg here. I'm wearing shorts. Speaking of shorts, I ordered some more shorts from the Amazonian and I'm hoping that they come today and I'll try them on for you. All right, I kind of like this. Uh, I need to spot check myself. <laughs> Do I have sunscreen on my nose? I need to spot check myself, make sure I don't skip any areas. Oh, let me get my ears. I like this. Um, first impression just on the feel. I'm gonna go put my eyelashes on, aka my mascara, uh, so I look alive. And I'm gonna get some coffee in my system. And we'll just see how this holds up today. I'm kind of thinking it might be a little shiny. What do you guys think? If I recall correctly, it was not that expensive. Bondi Sands is like known for their sunless tanner, so I was kind of you know glad to see this. Sunless tanners, by the way, uh, bronzer, you know, sunless tanning products. They all have dihydroxyacetone in them, which is fine. It's a fine ingredient. It's not going to harm you. It's not going to you know injure you in any way, shape, or form. They can be very drying, and when used on the face, they can aggravate acne for some people. I mean that that's a story. Um, most many of them have fragrance. Although I found one on. Um, found a gradual tanner on Blue Mercury that does not. And I also found this brand Vita Liberata, I think it's called, um, that has a tanning product that does not have fragrance. Um, so I personally don't use them because I'm not really seeking a tan, but I support those of you who do, you know, in your journey to finding one because first and foremost, fake tan is far, far, far safer than a UV mediated tan. It's not gonna, you know, mutate your DNA like UV. <laughs> it's not gonna give you skin cancer. Um, it's not gonna age your skin. The, the nice thing about sunless tanners, even, you know, if you're like, why can't people just be happy with their skin tone? Why do they wanna be seeking a tan? I get it, I get it. You know, for me personally, I'm not interested in having a tan. But where sunless tanners are nice is they're basically like body makeup in a sense that if you have, you know, some things that you're trying to camouflage a little bit. You just kind of even out the overall appearance of the skin, especially a lot of the gradual tanners are not quite so like terracotta pot looking. Um, so I totally get 
the appeal for sunless tanners and you know so i'm happy to look into them but i'm just not going to be using them myself so i'm not the best person to like compare all that being said i did find that gradual tanner that was free of fragrance and yeah <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go put my mascara on, get some coffee in my system, edit a video, and I'll check back with you guys in a moment. I just pulled these out of my washing machine. They're a tiny bit damp, but I'm just gonna let them air dry. They're placemats that I got at Kroger last year, and I'm showing them to you because they're back in stock at Kroger if you're a Kroger shopper. And I have to say, I you wouldn't think that placemats you purchase at the grocery store would be this good quality but I have been impressed I wash them like once a week and they wash really well they don't like shrink and get bunchy the colors have stayed really you know exactly the same they look identical to the when I purchased them in the store you know uh, holiday home is the brand yeah really good they also have a, a tablecloth but I don't need that Hey guys, it is much later. I am caffeinated, so I'm more verbal. I edited a video for you guys, got it up, and made the thumbnail and description box and all that back-end stuff, so that's what I've been doing for the past couple of hours. I have mascara on. Update on the Bondi Sand sunscreen. I think it's a little on the shiny side. Even for me, and you guys know I don't mind looking shiny, shiny, shiny. Um, I do think it's a little on the shiny side, especially for most people's liking. Um, but it doesn't, it hasn't like run into my, you know, cause my eyes to burn or water or anything. That's always a win. So yeah, I think I'm really liking it. It kind of reminds me going on of the, just the feel of it going on of the, it kind of reminds me of the La Roche-Posay Melton Sunscreen Milk. It's just kind of a similar look and feel to that product so if you like that you may like this one um yeah i love the la roche posay melton sunscreen milk that's absolutely one of my favorite face body sunscreen mambo combos i am wearing a tank top from one guess costco but i i always wear these tank tops in black gray, black and gray and i have a few in white you know my 2021 goal though was to wear more color so i saw they got in these tanks in like a pack with different colors they have this rose color and then a little more of a mauve and then a, like two shades of blue uh so i got those and they're really comfortable i think it's is this felina i think it's felina yeah but before i share with you guys my new shorts yesterday i swung by my p.o box and I got a ton of awesome mugs from you guys. Let me share with you guys what I got. Yeah, look at all of the mugs, you guys. This one I'm really excited about because it's like a red Solo cup with a handle. And while I probably won't drink hot liquids out of it, I really am happy to have it for cold liquids because uh, I don't really have like actual cups for drinking non-coffee non-tea beverages <laughs> is there anything else to drink someone made me had this one made for me and it's beautiful it says dr dre and a heart isn't that pretty and then the other side says we love you thank you dr dre i this one i, I adore it's beautiful i love that then someone else check this out they made me a new happy holidays mug on this side, it says happy holidays, but on the other side, it has a picture of me. I have been eyeing this one on the Amazonian for some time, so thank you so much. It says this coffee is making me awesome. Love that one. This one is bomb because it's pretty much the same mug as my happy holidays mug as far as shape and weight and size, uh, but um, uh, Mickey, Christmas. So yeah, that one's really cute. And then someone sent me a Hydro Flask. Love that. Um, with a little sippy spout there. And this one <laughs> is so me. My blood type is coffee. Then another person sent me this beautiful one with the birds. Really like that from this company inkedearth.com it's beautiful it looks paint hand painted almost uh, a hello kitty mug 
with the bows as the handle. Love my Hello Kitty. And then this cute mug with different types of coffee um, on the front. And then I think there's some more on the other side. Yeah. Got drip and mocha pot. <laughs> And the same person who sent me the Hydro Flask sent me, you guys remember when I went into Home Goods looking for this DW Home Valentine candle? Well, she snagged it and sent me one. Thank you so much. Even though Valentine's Day has passed, you guys know I don't force holiday decor and pieces to just be limited to the actual holiday. So I'm gonna light that up as soon as what I have burning currently is donezo. And I'm really going to get some use out of these spatulas. I was just thinking that yesterday when I was making those, um, when I was making my protein muffins, I was like, I kinda need a new, I need some more spatulas. I'm always just using that same one. And then these beautiful heart um, kitchen towels. Love those. Thank you so much. Y'all know I love my drinks. <laughs> All right, here are my shorts in black, fitting just the same as the other ones. So that's good. There's not a lot of, there's not variation from color to color, batch to batch. A little bit of distressing. I don't know. It's kind of hard to escape the distressing. Oh, a side note. I think I am of the minority. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gen Z for deciding <laughs> that skinny jeans are over. I have been waiting. I have been waiting for like 12 years, I feel like a decade at least, for skinny jeans to, to be passe. Because nothing wrong with skinny jeans on other people, but I have really large calves. Skinny jeans have always looked horrible on me and they have always been difficult to put on <laughs> because they just they're too, they're always too tight around my calves and then they're always super bunchy around like my around my popliteal fossa at the back of my knee yeah they've always looked they've always not been flattering on me and i can i can remember being in an american eagle trying on jeggings which were like a version of skinny jeans and hating the way they looked uh, you know, just finding them un not flattering on me and being like, I cannot wait until skinny jeans go away. Because it, for the longest time, it was nearly impossible to get jeans that were not skinny jeans. Um, that was all that was available. So I'm really glad <laughs> that Gen Z is canceling it, but I'm still parting my hair on the side or whatever, you know. <laughs> I mean, I do it in the middle sometimes. It, it parts itself in the middle. I, I don't part my hair. I just let it fall according to, according to gravity. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, here are the black ones. All right, I just threw on the white ones. They kind of need to be steamed. Woohoo, you guys know me, I'm obsessed with steaming things. Uh, Cause they have, a, they have a fold here accidentally. But yeah, unlike the other two, these have, these have two buttons, but really, really comfortable. I love these. Um, I'm, I'm kind of, the, the hula fringe is sort of growing on me. And these also came to my PO box and thank you so much for these, the viewer who sent these to me because I have been eyeing these on Instagram, story, people's Instagram stories. Uh, people claim that they will hold up a ponytail really well and not get loosey, but then they don't dent your hair. Uh, it's by this brand, Gimme Beauty. So I'm gonna try one out now. Uh, I've been wanting to try these for some time. I apologize, the lighting is kind of all over the place at this point. I'm just gonna have you guys propped up on my, on my occasion table here, <laughs> given the occasion. Yeah, I've been wanting to try these out for some time. Oh, so another thing I found on Amazon that hasn't come yet, but I'll update you guys when it does. I, you may have noticed, on the weekends, I live in this robe. I told you I would live in this robe when I got it from my FabFitFun box. I adore it. I adore it so much that when I wash it, I don't know what to do with myself um, while it's washing and drying. So I thought, hmm, maybe I should try and get another robe similar to this. So I found one on Amazon. Hopefully it's soft, comfortable, and not itchy. 
Um, I mentioned last week how I enjoy watching Lisa Lisa D1 and there's this robe that she wears and it's exactly what I wish all robes had and that is um, elastic in the sleeves so that you can push your sleeves up so that when you're like fussing around in the kitchen and stuff your sleeve doesn't get in things. I These are easy enough to roll up yeah, I don't have that problem but I've been tempted to buy that one that she has. It's it's very nice okay so here's what these look like they look they look good all right see if they actually hold the high pony Oh, update on the Derma E bonding hair oil. I actually really have liked that. Here, let me try it again. Yeah, it's really nice. I've actually really liked that, and it's the only hair oil, you guys, that I have tried that does not weigh my hair down. And what I like about it is that it accentuates my wave pattern. I'm not wearing it right now, but I've been using it. I'll update you guys in a video on hair care products I've been trying out. All right, the secret to security for a hair tie that I could wear running and stuff is it's got to do triple. And this, mmm, nope. Yeah, it's not doing triple. It's doing double. No way. These are not, these are good for just like getting your hair out of your face. But for me, the elastic has to stretch enough to do a triple, a triple lutz. They're nice, otherwise. They're nice for like everyday wear. I'll get a lot of use out of them, but I can't run in these without at least flipping my hair up in the bunzo. I have also worn, I have one floating over here on the floor. <laughs> These don't work for my hair either. Um, this is, what's it called? A, I want to call it an elastic, Invisibobby. These don't work for my hair either. Like they work just like this, but they don't make a high pony. The only thing that makes a high pony are the Goody brand ones, the like black ones. And those do dent your hair, but I don't know. It seems like in order to get a high pony that stays, pla stays, in, stays in place, I have to use those and they, you know, I have to, I have to have a dent in my hair in order to get them to stay up. Like, you know, you see those like competitive cheerleaders, not that that's in my future, um, but you know how they have to have a high ponytail? Well, this would not work for me if I were a competitive cheerleader and had to have that high ponytail because my hair would flop out. Speak of the devil, look what just arrived as I was chatting with you guys about the robe. The robe, let's try it on. I didn't mean for today's vlog to just be like me showing you random stuff, but hey, that's what it is, me showing you stuff. Uh, and trying out the sunscreen today, which I'm still really liking, by the way. The brand, this got good reviews. The brand is Yogalicious. They make leggings, but this came up as, as suggested when I was searching for robes. I thought, okay, here we go. I got the color Petal Pink. Nice that it comes with a ribbon. This, as a side note, burn this in your memory bank because this would make a great uh, gift since it comes with a bow. You just pop it into a box. All right, ooh. It's like a, the material feels good. It's like a sweatshirt jersey. Yeah, it's like a sweatshirt material, but the lining, you guys, the lining is super soft. It's like a blanket, the lining. All right, haven't even put it on and I'm already getting excited about it. It wasn't too expensive either. Ooh, feels good going on.
Ooh, I like this. We got pockets and it hits the knee, which is what I was looking for. I don't really care for long robes, you know, that are, I don't know. I feel, I feel more put together in a knee length robe. I really like this. I really like it and it happens to match my tank top. What do you guys think? I'm loving it, it's super comfy. Oh, the pockets too, they're lined with the same snuggly, soft, smooth material as the interior. Okay, this was a, this is a win. This and the shorts, speaking of sleeves that you can roll up, actually, this is more like something you can roll up because it's just like a sweatshirt. Well, I like that, all right. I'm happy with this, very happy. And I got some really nice cards in the mail. This one is really pretty. It looks like it's handmade. It's like felt. And then this one's really cute with the flamingos. This came all the way from Japan and this is the envelope. Uh, it's really cute, I love that. And then I got a Christmas card, Noel. Stay sharp. Hello. <laughs> Happy holidays. Peace on earth. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Pretty pattern there. Yeah, and this one's really cute with a like little cartoon Star Wars people. <laughs> I love your cards. And then this came too it's a christmas ornament isn't she pretty it's clara you guys know my ballet tree was a was a success this year so she'll be on the tree next year hey guys i just finished out my run i'm doing a little stretching i'm trying to stay consistent with the stretching thing um i have you all propped up there but i was thinking while i was doing my stretching these slippers that I got in my Fat Fit Fun box, they're really cute, right? The splendid slippers. I haven't worn them yet. Um, and I think I'm gonna donate them to the women's shelter because I've got two pairs of slippers that I love, like my Bionics, I love. And then I have another pair that I wear all the time. And they're like worn in to fit my feet, but they're still, you know, in good condition and supportive. So I don't need another pair. Plus I don't really like open-toed slippers i like having my feet enclosed uh and i don't like having bare feet or anything so i would be walking around in these in, in socks um and i just feel like i don't know somebody else would get more use out of them be a nicer nicer thing to give to somebody than to just hoard for myself so yeah i'm gonna give them that and those puffs you guys told me were for taking makeup off i think you said yeah so I'm gonna get those. It's gonna lie here on the floor for a moment. <laughs> on my yoga mat. Shavasana with you guys. It's not what it's called where you just lay there. That's the best part of a yoga class. I haven't been to a yoga class in years. I, I always enjoyed them. I used to go to a yoga studio called Core Power. It's like a chain. Um, but this was a long, long time ago. And they used to have this class called yoga sculpt that was one of the few workouts with weights that i actually enjoyed i hate doing weights like i really have to force myself to do them and now that all you know with all the closures of the gym gyms you you guys know i've kind of shifted my exercise to my apartment like i have the treadmill i've got the um, rebounder i do like little little YouTube videos, so I'm set in indoors. Um, but when I was working out in the, my apartment gym pre-pandemic, I would do weights. I haven't done any weights at all. <sighs> That's a lie. I do like bicep curls, but I've got an eight pound, I've got a set of eight pound weights there. I'll do like bicep curls. You guys have seen me do those. Like some mornings I'll do bicep curls. There's like, there are a few tone it up workout videos that I do that are with weights and so I have done those like overhead tricep whatever they're called I'll do those from time to time but I'm really not the best at like being motivated to do weights when I was working out in the gym I would do the weight machines and 
I was doing heavier weights at that point, and I think that was better for me. <laughs> I mean, I don't need to do weights that bad. <laughs> I'll just hold up the camera. How's that sound? <laughs> oh, no, lifting weights is important. It's kind of weird. I kind of look, it's kind of weird to see yourself at this angle laying upside down. <laughs> I feel like the vein in my forehead is probably bulging or something because all the blood is rushing to my head. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. Thank you for sticking around to the end. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.